Hi, this is David from MIS3D. We're going to be talking about Batch Builder today. Batch Builder is a simple editor tool for the Unity 3 Pro version. Um, so let's go and get started. Uh, Batch Builder is one of those uh, very simple ways of speeding up your build process. Uh, it works by making just a batch session of all the different platforms that you want to deploy to. So let's go ahead and drag and drop those sort of editor components into our angry bots demo here with that deployed now we have build batcher available in the file menu so if I go ahead and open this I have a nice convenient menu that pops up I can select my app name I can make it let's say something like test I can actually go ahead and pick the location that I want to have it build to so let's go ahead and pick someplace nice and convenient let's go angry build it's a good name for it. So, angry build. After that, I can pick my build types, whether it's Mac OS, so the Windows, various web versions, as well as Flash, iOS, and whatever you have licenses for. Uh, if you don't have the licenses, it uh, will spit out an error. Uh, beyond that, you have our build options, where we can choose to have a development build, auto-connect the profile, script and debugging, and if we had iOS enabled, we could actually uh, choose these different options as well. So let's go ahead and just build Mac OS and Win32, just because it's a little bit more straightforward in terms of uh, build time. So once I click Start Build, what the Build Batcher is doing is instead of requiring you to switch different platforms as the Build and Run system does that's currently in Unity, uh, the Build Batcher is making a list of the different builds you want to use and is going through them automatically so you don't have to actually worry about switching or monitoring your builds. Uh, even if you encounter an error, it'll proceed to the next platform and continue on. So typically in what happens in Unity is whenever you switch platforms, you have to go through a re-import state where uh, all of the scripts get rebuilt, all of your assets get re-imported for that specific platform. Um, this prevents you from having to sit around and waste your time looking for that all day. So now that that's completed, we can go into our angry build. We have three objects here, two folders, one for each of the platforms that we decided to build, macOS.app as well as the Win32 executable. In addition to that, we have a nice little log file that will detail exactly what happened during that build, whether it's success or failure. If a failure occurs, you'll actually see a fourth file here that says angrybots-test.error. And the .error is a good way of, you know, at a glance deciding, oh, something went wrong, I need to follow up on that. All right, once again hop in, double click run, and now using Batch Builder I've saved myself uh, potentially a bunch of time instead of having to sit around and wait for my builds to complete I can go about my tasks by either switching to a different user account or you know just going away for the day and just coming back tomorrow to see when my builds are complete. It really saves us a lot of time at IS3D because we deploy against five or six different platforms and I think it really could save uh, all of you some time as well. So please check us out. Batch Builder from IS3D.